An education bill made it across the aisle in the crossover deadline. It's aimed at helping public school parents afford private school education. Opponents argue it takes away money from public schools. Camilla Williams breaks down Senate Bill 233 and what it could mean for your child's education. It's called the Georgia Promise Scholarship Act. It would give parents $6,000 in state funding to help pay for private school education. Matt Kitchell, principal at First Presbyterian Day School, says it's a parent's choice. We take a lot of pride, at least in school here, of saying that, um, that we're partnering with families. With a school of around 800 kids ranging from 3K to 12th grade, the private school can choose how and what to teach versus public schools that follow state guidelines. Kitchell says a private school has its benefits. Private schools can offer some different things. Um, in terms of extracurricular activities, in terms of programming, in terms of smaller classrooms. So how would this affect public schools? The Professional Association of Georgia Educator opposes the bill, saying it would take away funding from public schools. The Georgia Budget and Policy Institute says the state has underfunded public schools for the last 20 years. They would need about $1 billion annually to keep up. Since private schools are private owned, they don't receive local, state, or federal funding. Kitchell says education bills like these are handled differently for private schools. We have to be able to articulate our value to our families and uh, and there's a need and there's a desire for it so um, really a school choice bill doesn't is, isn't going to impact what we do so much. Overall proponents say the bill would give parents more school options for their child with a financial push. In Macon, Camila Williams, 13 WMAZ News. All right, uh, Camila reached out to Bib Housen and Peach County School Systems for comment on how the bill may have affected them. We were unable to reach them for con confirmation.